here come Clip Co. other's hoodie strings and even if you may not wear a hoodie you know many people do and um, around um, a billion and a half hoodies are sold in America every year and um, when you pull out your hoodie string it, um, it um, damages the clothing and it's from its original um, position it came from and um, that's a very big problem because um, it won't be able to keep you warm on those cold and lonely winter nights, but you also lose money because your garment is in it in its original condition. Our value proposition is uh, our business our business is a product that prevents your hoodie from your hoodie string from falling out or sliding off. Um, the product offering is the hoodie clip is a clip that you attach to your hoodie string and it stops it from falling off. Uh, your hoodie. <coughs> okay, our target market would be anyone who owns a hoodie, of course, and our gender is unisex. We do not discriminate. And um, our income, um, so the, the target market incomes would be popular, <coughs> and uh, their occupation would be any. We're interested in people who want to look stylish at an affordable price. couldn't fit um, a lot of hoodie strings 
and we needed one that can fit many different sizes. And so we tried to find a solution and a cord lock would fit that solution because it is attachable to many different sizes and we would essentially be um, living with the product. And, yeah. and um, our competitive advantage would be that out of the clip will have different colors. We have found out that many cord locks can only come in black. And as black, well, it may be stylish and it goes with anything. It's not really, you know, it's not a funeral, so. <laughs> and our hood clip will give you the extra style you need, and it will be easy to slide or uh, hook onto your string. And our consumer research summary is that our company interviews students in Hillside High School in their very own library. And most students we talked to believe that they were most likely to buy a product due to the problem of the hoodie strings being unattached. And also because they found this product very innovative. Um, our consumers, we, we um, asked them like what they would want our product to have that like, makes it more, that makes it better. And they said that they wanted to have ex extra strength to keep the hoodie tight. And they would buy it. Like no, they were buy our product for no more than two dollars because two dollars is too much for them just for that pretty cool. Um, and they would use it when it's cold, and they would want it to be colorful. Okay, um, our scarf cobs, we just have scissors because we um, we like to, like we need to cut a lot of things, but I don't think we'll be using them much anymore. Um, our operating cost is we need the space of reading rods. Um, they're like just something that you put on the, the string to stop from coming off and um, a ACC cap and rings. Um, they just like tighten the, the hole down the string. <laughs> um, so our original So our original prototype um, was a combination of many things, of many materials, and they all cost $149 to make one prototype. And we also saw that for the cord lock, it would actually be less, so we wouldn't we would make up. Wait, oh, we would right. actually make up. Right here, we divided it by two because it's 149 for the back, but it has two in it, and um, this one costs four dollars, but it has 18 in it. Hey, builders, your time is up. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> Maybe the judge will put on some questions. Um, would you like to ask us any questions? <laughs> Nice guys, nice job on finding your cogs there. I thought you guys did a good job of showing how that all works. Um, the question I had, so you said that one of your strengths is gonna be the fact that you have different colors. Um, how are you gonna decide uh, which colors you'll, you'll purchase? Because right, well, they are colors in, the colors of the uh, rings different in each bag? Um, so when we buy them, the cord locks that we will buy online, they come in four different colors. So we will be mainly selling those. Okay, cool. And um, we may also um, take a survey. So um, if we had, let's say for example, green, red, blue, and black, well, if many people say, well, I don't want the red one. Like, I don't, I don't really like it, like the majority of people. But we would take it off our um, list of products until they would say, well, now I need a red one. So we would put it back up. Um, so I had a question that I wanted to say. I really like the idea of the product, and I feel like it has other applications. So you might actually start with hoodies, but you might find it on like drawstring sweatpants, especially what little kids wear. Like that might be something you can actually sell to other people. For other, you know, other ideas you can stand the product. Um, I was wondering how many students you interviewed when you interviewed them. You didn't mention a number of how many kids in the library you spoke to. We interviewed about 15. About 15? And, and in terms of um, the financials, can you go back to the financial slide for me? Yeah. 
So am I reading this right that it's 97 cents for each one for you to make it? Oh, uh, um, yes. Yes, our original product was, uh, yes, our original product was 97 cents per unit and we would be selling it at, um, around a dollar to a dollar. Around a dollar to a dollar to a fifty to two dollars, depending on the preference. One fifty to two dollars? Yes. Do you sell them in a pair or just what single? Um, so we would in a pair. Since we're in a pair. Okay. And yeah. Yeah. Um, one of our just kind of comment about your, your target market. One thing I would I would think of if I were you guys was who you said your um, target market was students at Woodside, but think about who takes care of the clothes um, at your house. Parents. Your parents. Um, so maybe I mean, maybe it might be worth like looking into you know <coughs> marketing this to like moms and, and dads who are you know make want to make sure that you don't need to, they don't need to buy you a new hoodie because your your string's gone. It's just something to think about. Thank you for the suggestion. Yeah. I think it was a it's a great product. It's a good for style as well. Um, could you help me understand what exactly is your ask? Like, what are you asking? Um, how much funding? Oh, how many? Oh, how much funding? <coughs> we will be asking for around one hundred twenty-five dollars for our uh, funding. So you're gonna spend that one hundred twenty-five dollars to buy to buy um, those pairs, which yes, will so cost we, we would buy them, and then we would um, market up the price, and then we would sell them around. We would sell two to three each every week, if possible, and then we would um, we expect to break even around March.